Today's episode is about the AC voltage monitoring and protection against over voltage and under voltage. This is the part 1 and we will be displaying the voltage on a 16 into 2 LCD. While in part 2 we will design a SCADA application for monitoring voltage, frequency, load and disconnection. I will be using the same circuit in part 2 as well so watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Is this tutorial will really help you in part 2. In today's episode we will cover a number 1 voltage sensor calculation for monitoring voltages up to 310 volts. Number 2 complete circuit diagram explanation. Number 3 programming and finally number 4 testing. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this tutorial are a number 1 Arduino. Number 2, 16 into 2 LCD. Number 3, a variable resistor or potentiometer. Number 4, jumper wires or connection wires. And finally, number 5, 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This project is basically based on my previous two tutorials. This tutorial covers the basics of 16 into 2 LCD and I have explained everything from soldering to interfacing. So I will be using the same LCD connections. You should watch this tutorial for the best understanding. The link is given in the description. While in this tutorial I explained everything about the voltage sensor and how to modify this sensor for monitoring higher voltages. You should watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. As explained in my previous tutorial, this voltage sensor simply consists of two resistors connected in series. The maximum input voltage of this voltage sensor is 25 volts. So for 25 volts, we get exactly 5 volts. Vn is equal to 25 volt. R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms. R2 is equal to 7.5 kilo ohm. We can find out the output voltage by using the voltage divider formula which is V out is equal to R2 into Vn divided by R1 plus R2. V out equals 7.5 into 1000 into 25 and then divide by 30k plus 7.5k and we get V out is equal to 5 volts. If we increase the input voltage, the output voltage will also increase above 5 volt which can damage the analog pin of the controller. So for this we need to add another resistor in series. Let's say we want to monitor voltages up to 310 volts. Let's first of all find the current of the voltage sensor using V is equal to IR formula. I is equal to V divided by R. I is equal to 25 divided by 30k plus 7.5k. I is equal to 25 divided by 37.5k i is equal to 0 0.000666 amps which is equal to i is equal to 666 microamps. Now let's calculate the value of the resistor which can be used in series with this voltage sensor to monitor 310 volts. Vx is equal to 310 which is the input voltage. Rx is equal to Vx minus 25 volts. 25 is the maximum input voltage of the voltage sensor and then divided by 666 microamps. And uh, when we solve this, we get a value of 428 kilo ohm resistor. Using this value of the resistor, we can monitor voltages up to 310 volts. Now let's discuss the complete circuit diagram. AC voltage is fed to the bridge rectifier through a fan regulator. This fan regulator will be used for varying the AC voltage to check if we can successfully detect the over voltage, normal voltage and under voltage. This is a full view bridge rectifier. The positive leg of the bridge rectifier is connected with the VCC of the voltage sensor through a 428 kilo ohm resistor. This is the resistor that we just calculated and the ground of the bridge rectifier is connected with the ground of the voltage sensor. A 10 microfarad capacitor is connected with the voltage sensor to get stable values. 
the S pin of the sensor is connected with the A1 pin of the Arduino and minus pin is connected with the ground. As you can see, ground is connected with pin number 1, 5 and pin number 16. 5 volt from Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15. The middle pin of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD. Using this potentiometer, we can control the LCD contrast. While the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volt. Pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pins D7 to D4 of the LCD. Pin number 8 of the Arduino is connected with the enable pin of the LCD. Pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected with the RS pin of LCD. All the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. This is the fan regulator and it will be used to increase and decrease the voltage. You can increase and decrease the voltage by simply rotating this knob. And this is the rectifier circuit and will be connected with the AC voltage. This circuit will directly convert AC into DC. We are not using any step down transformer. And then we gave it as input to the circuit. As you can see this circuit has 5 resistors. Actually, I had no 428 kilo ohm resistor, so that's why I connected resistors whose total resistance is equal to 428 kilo ohms. And this is connected with the VCC of the voltage sensor. This is a 10 microfarad capacitor connected with the VCC and ground of the voltage sensor. The S wire of the voltage sensor is connected with A1 pin of the Arduino, which is the analog input and the minus pin is connected with the ground. The LCD interfacing with the Arduino is exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the variable resistor or potentiometer through which we can control the LCD contrast. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in a comment. Now let's discuss the programming. This is the complete program written for the AC voltage monitoring system. We start by adding a library for the LCD then we define pins. RS pin of the LCD is connected with pin number 9 of the Arduino. EN is connected with pin number 8. D4 to D7 are connected with pin 7 to pin 4 of the Arduino. Initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins. String text for SMS. This will be used in part 2 for creating a complete message consisting of the voltage frequency and load values. For the voltage sensor, float correction factor equals 26. If your final result is different, you can change this value. You will find this value through testing. Integer analog input is equal to A1 voltage sensor is connected with analog pin A1 of the Arduino. Then two variables of the type float and integer. If we add 428 kilo ohm resistor in series with a module, we can monitor the voltages up to 310 volts. These are the resistor values. A variable of the type integer. This will be used to store the voltage sensor value. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. Why it means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments is the input. Setup.begin9600 activates the serial communication at 9600 baud rate. I'll be using this only for the debugging purposes. Set up the LCD's number of columns and rows. LCD.begin16,2 activates the LCD. LCD.print voltage, print voltage on the LCD. Pin mode analog input, comma input. Set the voltage sensor as input. Then starts a wide loop function and it only consists of a voltage function. This is a user defined function. Value equals analog read analog input. Read the analog pin A1 and store the value in a variable value. Then use these formulas to find out the input voltage. Then use the correction factor value to adjust the final result. And then use these conditions to check the under voltage and normal voltage and over voltage. These values can be changed as per your requirements. 
you can also add programming for the relays to provide disconnection to protect your electronics gadgets I have already uploaded this program let's watch this project in action as you can see currently the voltage is greater than 150 and less than 190 so that's why on the LCD you can see normal voltage when I increase the voltage above 190 now you can see it displays low voltage you can change these limits and programming as this project is capable of monitoring voltages up to 310 volts when the voltage drops below 150 then it displays under voltage I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching